Once his summer festivals got rolling in the early 1950s, my father produced every single one of Shakespeare's plays. Not just the big famous ones, but plays like King John, Two Noble Kinsmen, Titus Andronicus, that's one where the queen is tricked into eating meat pies made out of her own two dead sons. I saw that one when I was about eight years old. <laughs> My father produced a lot of these plays multiple times, directing several of them and acting in several with a kind of exuberant flamboyance that you might have recognized from someone else in the room. <laughs> Best of all, we had a wonderful family, warm, interdependent, tight-knit, and what do you suppose accounted for that? You see, I think it was stories. Specifically, the stories in this book. It's time to tell you about the book. It's my only prop. It's called Tellers of Tales. It's about 80 years old, copyright 1939. It's around 1,500 pages long. It contains 100 classic short stories, all selected by W. Somerset Maugham. When we were growing up, this book, this actual copy, was a kind of family Bible in the Lithgow household, wherever that household happened to be at the time. Because when we were kids, my father told us bedtime stories. He read them to us from this book. We would pick the stories, and he would read them out loud, performing all the parts full out. When I hold it in my hands now, my father comes back. It was a Saturday, and the shop was full, and Jim got up out of that chair and said, Gentlemen, I got an important announcement to make. I've been fired from a job. Well, they all asked him if he was in earnest, and he well, said he was, and nobody can think of nothing to say till Jim finally broke the ice himself. He said, I've been selling canned goods, and now I'm canned goods myself. <laughs> you see, the concern he'd been working for sold canned goods. <laughs> Over in Carterville, and now Jim says he's canned himself. <laughs> he certainly was a card. <laughs> I showed them the book, and I told them to pick a story. And what do you suppose they picked? Fred. Uncle Fred Flits Spy by P.G. Woodhouse. So I read it to them. I launched into the first paragraph with only the dimmest memory of the story I was telling. The more I read, the more of it came back to me. The plot kicked in and the characters revealed themselves and one by one, I recognized all those things that we had thought were so damn funny all those years ago. And then it happened. My father started to laugh, a kind of helpless, gurgly laugh, almost in spite of himself. It was like the engine of an old car, starting up after years of disuse. I kept reading, and he kept laughing harder and harder until he was almost out of breath. My mom turned and looked at him, eyes wide with surprise, and then she started laughing too a little tentatively at first, but by the end of the story, the two of them were laughing like a pair of old minor birds squawking away. It was the most wonderful sound. And I am convinced that it was sometime during the reading of that story that my father came back to life. 